want to show you the scenes from Wellington Prince Edward Island over the weekend as they carried in the waterfall of poppies and put it in its place in the Wellington Legion. And this is how it looked then. This is an incredible little few minutes that we're going to spend in Wellington PEI in the western part of that beautiful island population, somewhere around 500. And Kathleen Couture is with me. She's the co-organizer of all of that, live with me in front of the waterfall. Kathleen, good morning and thank you for being my guest. Good morning, Heather. It's my pleasure. Listen, I really appreciate your time on this very significant day for the Wellington Legion. And there is that beautiful waterfall of poppies. Tell me all about it. And maybe as you're doing so, maybe you can take me in close and show me them, too. So we had a gentleman who saw this online and decided that it would be a great community event for Wellington Prince Edward Island. So we got together between March and September and October. Um, about 50 or 60 people who are willing to hand knit and hand crochet all of these lovely poppies. So each one is individually made. I'll kind of zoom in and show you a couple. I love, so every one of these hand knit, hand crocheted. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> And Everyone is handmade by various people. And mm -hmm. what we did was we started collecting them. We received four, over 4,200 poppies in total. Incredible. So all of the pop Sorry, I had to move my phone. All of the poppies came in and we started in September tying them to this lovely net that you can see here. It goes all the way up to the roof of the Legion and all the way down on the ground to the poppy waterfall that looks like the water was cascading down. So it's kind of all there and uh, it was amazing. This net holds over 3,000 of those poppies. There was about 1,000 left that we're going to be making a second net for next year, starting already, working on a plan for the future. But it's been amazing. This community has come together in a way that it just warms my heart. I myself am my veteran's wife. I'm here in my Legion uniform. So I myself am a veteran's wife. My son is active duty and my son-in-law is active duty. So being a very military family, this is very important to us to show our respect and our love towards all our veterans. What a meaningful tribute to, to you personally and to the community. So when you walk up and approach and see that, I mean, it is a very powerful image. What has been the reaction of people so far and what do you hope will be the reaction today? Well, I think the reaction so far has just been the community pride. People have been coming up here, taking pictures of it, taking pictures in front of it, posting it on their social media. I've had at any point in time, three to four cars stopping on the side of the road, taking pictures. I know people who've driven up from other parts of Prince Edward Island to see it. It's just been overwhelming, the response that we've had from the, this poppy waterfall. Um, and I believe today, um, today it's a little bit rainy. But as you know, uh, the soldiers in the wars didn't have a chance to go inside when it rained. So we'll be outside here this morning, even in the rain, having our ceremony this morning and giving thanks to all those veterans and respecting them in the way that they deserve. It'll be emotional to be sure. I know that uh, the president of the Legion told CBC News when they were doing a, a little bit of reporting on this locally, he became quite emotional when he saw that for the first time. And I dare say that will likely be the case today. So you're already gearing up for, for next year, more than a thousand ready to go on all of that. I think that we should maybe make sure we acknowledge the woman who made the most. Wasn't somebody, didn't she make 800 of them, Kathleen? We had Rajan Arsenault who made 800, but we also had a lady named Debbie Tanner who actually made 1,000. Really? So we had quite a few people who made a lot, but you know what? You also have to recognize those ladies who are in their 80s and 90s who made five or who made 10, because each and every poppy on here meant something to the people who were knitting them and crocheting them. That's absolutely right. Everyone have a story. Somebody in their thoughts, I'm sure, as they were, you know, taking the time to make that personally, to be on that waterfall. You mentioned your personal military connection and your family ties to the services, Kathleen. What does the poppy symbolize to you? To me, the poppy symbolizes, I mean, the red to me is there not only for the blood that was fallen during the wars, but also the love, the love we have for the people and for the freedom. The poppy is 100%. When I see that, I know that it means something to a veteran. It means something to veterans' families. It means something to all of us. We now have the freedom to do what we want to do each and every day because of all of those who served before us. And it's just 
my heart is warm. My heart is warm standing here in front of this poppy in the rain. It's just one of those things that just mean a lot to a lot of people. And it's significant because it's across the world. Everybody recognizes the poppy. You've done a very good thing as co-organizer of this. I think it's a wonderful community gathering. What a delight to meet you today, Kathleen. Thank you for telling the personal significance for you. It'll be uh, an, especial, an especially powerful Remembrance Day, I think, for everyone there at the Wellington Legion. So thank you again and all the best. Well, thank you very much for recognizing veterans on this lovely day. Kathleen Couture in Wellington, PEI.